Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, oh, okay, so I'm here checking in on the energy, right? And it's looking to me like um, there's some kind of engagement um, or I, it feels like a commitment that's being called off, okay? Um, you're about to find out about this. You're about to get the scoop on the whole situation, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you guys. I love this time of night to do your reading. Oh, yeah, somebody feels like an absolute fool because they missed out on their divine counterpart. This is um, the greatest of all time, the GOAT. So, yeah, you're about to find this out. You're about to find out that it's either an engagement was called off, a wedding was called off, or a commitment is broken now. Um, I feel like something's been called off here. Somebody's, they, they got cold feet, okay? They got cold feet. They changed their mind on something. They're feeling like an absolute idiot because they left you behind. Okay, this person is sick over this. Sick over this. They, they do not want to be who they were getting committed to. They want to be with you. And you're about to find this out. I don't know how you're finding it out. You're about to get the whole scoop, though. Yeah. This is jail, prison. They may be in a mental prison over you. Or this commitment they could have felt very trapped in, very stuck. Um, I feel like this person may even write you a letter. Okay, I've been picking up on that energy. Something about the movie, The Notebook as well. Okay, like this isn't over. It was never over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the line that I always pick up on when I think of that movie. Um Oh, man, I, I love that guy, too. I can't remember his name right now, but I absolutely love him. Ryan Gosling. Thank you. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Um, this person, they're thinking about writing you a letter. They're also, this could be also something like signing a lease. Signing a lease, signing maybe um, paperwork, you know, a mortgage for a home, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like this person is going to be moving, or this could be for you. You could be signing a new lease or moving away. This, this person is sick over this. I feel like they're walking away from a commitment or a promise, an engagement. Um, it, they're canceling everything, and they are coming towards you, okay? Maybe this is how you find out everything. They tell you everything in a letter. Because I feel like this person is afraid to approach you now. You know, they feel really dumb. Yeah, see, this is exposure. This person, um, they're about to tell you everything or you're going to find out everything. They're, they're under judgment. Um, they may even ask a friend to come and talk to you. Because I see them kind of planning with a friend here. Or this could be somebody who's moving into a friend's house. Because they don't have a lot of money. Yep, yep. I feel like um, they're losing some money here. Their money's getting like cut in half. So if this was a marriage, they're getting a divorce. And whoever they were with is getting half of what they've got. Or... Um, this could be something like they need to take a pay cut if they move to a different location. Um, I feel like this person, they just don't have a lot of money. Okay. Whoever they're currently with could have taken some money from them as well. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo, an Aries. They're sick over this. They're sick of money loss. They're sick maybe because they need to switch jobs and take a, a pay cut. Um, they're, they're sick because they um, made really bad decisions here. Like their life is an absolute mess right now. Okay? And the worst part is, is they lost you. Yeah. The worst part about their life that's a wreck is the fact that they lost you. Okay? 
Yeah. For this person, it's about as bad as it can get. Uh, they may even be suffering from some pretty bad health issues. Um, sick stomach. They could be, you know, throwing up a lot, that kind of thing. Getting really sick. Okay, what else can you show me for this person? Some messages for my beautiful collective. Closing the book on something. I kind of get the sense that this person is going to have to walk away from a job uh, because they're moving away. I feel like this person, especially if you live a distance from them, they are going to want to move to where you are, okay? So this person could be moving to your location, and um, they're going to have to switch jobs. This person's going to have to um, end their job here. And they don't have a lot of money. They could be trying to convince a friend to move with them. Share expenses. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're leaving. I just saw the person wave goodbye. All right. So, yeah. And you're, you're about to find out. This is happening still this summer. So, um, the month of August, maybe into September. Toxic situation. I just saw that apple card. This person's just going to kind of show up in your area is really what I'm feeling like. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, they're, they're mad or there's, uh, there's people that are angry with them. Because this person is pretty broke. Yeah, um, they're, I feel like they're going to try to borrow money or something from somebody. And whoever they borrow money to, they're going to call this person a fool. Um, or whoever they borrow money from, they're going to call this person a fool. Uh, because they're, they're leaving a commitment or an engagement behind to start something new here. This is starting something new. Starting a new path, going down a new path, and I feel like they may go to their father or something, okay, to ask to borrow money for a fresh start, and their father is already very disappointed in them for walking away from this engagement, okay? They're d I feel like this father is kind of ashamed of this person, but they're going to get, they're going to get them, I feel like they're going to get the money, that they need to make this move. It, they're, um, I just feel like it's gonna. Their family is so mad at them right now. <laughs> their family is so mad, but the heart wants what the heart wants, and this person wants you. And um, they're coming. They're coming to your area. Yeah. See, I feel like this person is done. They're done with everything that they knew in their past. Okay, their lifestyle, the people that were in their life, their, their friends, right? Um, whoever they were with instead of you. This person is turning their back on everybody. Okay, I feel like they were in a toxic loop. This is a toxic loop card where they just keep going down the same hallway over and over again, but it's always the same they're, they're, it's it's like it's been insane. That's the definition of insanity, right? Trying, trying the same thing over and over again, um, expecting a different result. You know, it's it's just it's it's driving this person crazy. So they're turning their back on their whole entire life as they know it, starting something new, leaving behind a relationship that could have been long term. Um, chickening out or getting cold feet, um, canceling an engagement, a wedding, okay? This wedding could have already cost their family a lot of money. That's one of the reasons why their father, I feel like this is their father, is upset with them, okay? But this person wants a new beginning. They want to leave the whole area and everyone behind, okay? 
they're moving to you. Yep, see ya. That's it. See ya. They're leaving people behind. This is completely unexpected behavior from this person. Like, no one expected this. This is completely out of, out of the blue. This is a very sudden change. Okay? Completely unexpected. Clarify that. Yeah, this is also abuse. I feel like they're leaving behind a toxic feminine who was verbally abusive, um, emotionally abusive, mentally abusive, whatever. Maybe it even got physical between them. Um, but I feel like that's who they're leaving behind. And this, whoever they're leaving behind wants some kind of revenge on this person, okay, is really what I'm getting. Like, they're not going to be happy until this person is hurting. But I feel like this person is leaving, leaving town. The, um, this karmic may even be targeting you for revenge. Yeah, very toxic. This is the devil. You guys know I'm not, I'm not a good cook. So the, the stove is, is the devil to me. So yeah, this is the devil. Whoever they got with, she's very enraged. Even though she's over here smiling, um, now I feel like it's more like planning and plotting against this person. She wants revenge here. Um, very toxic person. So I feel like, um, yeah, she, she may be targeting you for revenge for this Divine Feminine. And I feel like you didn't have anything to do with it. Okay, yeah, this person's not answering any of her phone calls, text messages, nothing. She's blowing up this person's phone, and they're just absolutely ignoring them or ignoring her. I also feel like um, their family is very upset with this person. Like, it almost feels like they want to boot them out in the cold. Okay. Um, any family members, either on their side and on her side, I think I, I feel they're, they're both angry at this person, all of them. But I feel like their father, yeah, because everything that they're deciding to do is very shocking. And they're walking away from everyone, okay, now that everyone is against them anyway, because they decided to cancel these wedding plans or cancel this engagement. But their father does help them. Okay, yes, that's being confirmed right here. So I feel like they go to their dad or their grandfather, one of the two, and they ask to borrow some money. And I feel like they're, um, they're getting some support and help from that person. Even though, yeah, this is their father. Okay, this is their father with the emperor coming out. Even though this person is angry at this, at this man, at this masculine, they're still going to help them out. They want a new beginning. They don't have any money. They may be blew it on wedding plans. Yeah, because they're, they're coming to get with their divine feminine. Look at that. Look at that. This person wants to commit to you. They want to start over fresh. Um, this can also be that letter that I was talking about. So you may receive a letter in the mail to explain what's going on and to tell you that they're coming forward. I don't know. But they want to commit to you, Divine Feminine. Okay? Yes, this is Divine Feminine. This is making things permanent. Okay? A commitment writing a new story okay they're clearing out everything else in their life wow this is a person who's completely changing everything about their life their job their home their relationships with friends and family they're walking away from some kind of commitment okay and they're moving this is a this is a house move to your area like this, it's all happening at once to this person. And there's only one person helping them with this, and that's their father. Okay. 
Wow. Yeah, permanent. Permanent. This is permanent. This is permanent. This person is ready to get serious with you now. They're in love with you. Wow, they're in love with you. Okay. Wow. And this is leaving everything behind all at, the, all at once. I feel like they tell their father that they're in love with you. They tell their father, you're the one for them. You're the one and they need to go after you and they need to go find you. Okay? And their dad doesn't want to stand in the way of what their heart wants. So, yeah. All right, what else can you show me? And what did I say about them writing you a letter? What did I say? I cannot make this up. This person may want to write you a letter, okay, because they're so stressed out. They don't know what to do. They're worried about approaching you in person. Maybe they want you to know that they're moving to your area. Definitely wanting to make this a permanent move, wanting to make things permanent with you. This person's desperate. Everything is kind of frantic and out of control in their life, okay? Everything is. They're making it that way. A tower. This would be considered a major tower where everything about their life is pretty much leveled. That's what's happening here. Like they are changing everything all at once in one swoop. Okay? For real. <clears throat> I feel like this person is desperate to communicate, see you again, get you back. Yeah, this is them being bored where they are. They don't want to be where they are anymore. They've already wasted way too much time. They have been under judgment for a long time, okay? But they're finally making this change, and they're coming to you. They see you as their perfect match, okay? This person admires you. They're very respectful. This letter that they write is going to be very respectful. They're going to they're gonna confess their guilt here. They're going to tell you that they're responsible for all of this. They're tucking their tail between their legs here, and they're going to be apologizing to you, collective. Okay? So get ready for this. I, this person's just kind of going to show up, and I feel like you live a distance from them. Either another town, state, maybe even country. Yeah, and people, the people that they're leaving behind, though, they're all going to be angry with them. They're all going to be, especially this karmic here. I feel like this is a karmic individual coming out with the devil. Okay. Um, she's going to want revenge, but I feel like she's going to, she's going to go after, you know, trying to get revenge on you and you didn't have anything to do with this, but she's going to be blaming you for the end of this commitment or the end, you know, for, for this person breaking off an engagement, whatever. Okay. She's coming after you for that. And you had nothing to do with it. You've been focused. Okay. Cause you're very independent here, very independent. So you have been focused on your abundance, your stability, maybe a business, a job. Okay. Something like that. You haven't had anything to do with this mess. Give me one more. Yeah, see, this is you. Um, I feel like I feel like this is both your energy, actually. You're enthusiastic and excited for new things. You're starting a new cycle here. Um, starting new things in your life. Um, maybe you've recently moved away. And this is like a new adventure for you, right? Well, your person is mirroring that energy because they're feeling the same way. Once they break free from all of these people, right, and this karmic, 
Once they break free from that, they're going to be excited. They're going to be enthusiastic for new things. So you guys are mirroring each other's energy right now. Yep, and here they come. I am telling you, and they are hopeful. They're hopeful that they can rekindle this with you. Okay. Let's see what they might have to say. Lost. They may get lost on the way to get to that area. Okay. But, um, yeah, they feel lost without you for sure. Unblock me. I miss you and want to connect. Please unblock me, literally or energetically, so we can speak. I have a lot to say. Maybe that's why they're writing you a letter, is because they know they're blocked. Okay? But they do want to talk to you. Attention of others. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed. I don't feel whole without it. I feel like they want your attention. They want your attention. They're leaving everybody else behind except for you. And they're coming to you. Okay? I've got a stray card on the deck here. The longing card. This person's longing for you, yearning for you. There's that letter right there. What did I say? Now that is a huge confirmation, you guys. This is a stray card in a completely different deck. Okay? And there's the letter. There it is, right there. It's got the stamp on it and everything. See? Yeah, this person could very well be your twin flame. You activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me again this time around. This person, they know that your soulmates. They may know that you're their divine counterpart. This person is crying now because of this, because they lost you. They feel like they lost you, but they're coming in. They're changing their life. They're going to be moving to your area to start something new in the hopes, right? In the hopes that you guys can rekindle this flame. Okay, when I think about you, I cry. Yeah, they are, they are sad. Will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe in me? Right there. So, yeah, this person is about to communicate. They're, it's going to be more than communication. I feel like you're going to get a letter first, and then they're going to show up. And you're going to be amazed because I feel like you live a distance from them. You know, so, um, yeah, just, <laughs> this, is, this is all going to kind of shock you, okay? So just be prepared, okay? Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.